Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. We are about to make some tostadas, so let me show you guys. I have overfilled this lovely little container with pork rinds. I'm going to slap it on my lovely little machine here and give it a whirl. Now, pork rinds, guys, because of the density of them, you don't have to worry about overfilling this container. Just have at it. Voila, we're done. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put this into a container, mix it with cheese. Be right back. All right, guys, in our bowl, we have about four ounces of cheese. I will tell you this, guys. It actually works better when you're buying the store-bought shredded cheese. I know it's not the best thing, but it does actually work best. All right, this is how you're going to make your tostadas. Now, it wouldn't even hurt to go ahead and put these together in a blender, but you don't have to. I'm going to get this started up really well, and then we'll head on over to the stove. All right, guys, so we're about to cook our tostadas in this small little pan. Meanwhile, you saw in my meal prep that I made some pulled pork. Here it is. In here, guys, I have some uh, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'll be putting in some onion flakes. Guys, check your labels. You want them to be one simple ingredient. This is onion powder. This is the cumin ingredients, cumin. Even this, which I purchased over at uh, big lots you'll see the ingredients all right no sugar so, all right so i have all of the yumminess here in my pan i also will be adding in a little bit of salsa verde all right guys so here is the broth that i stored this is from my meal prep you can see the fats on top and then all the goodness down here so i'm just gonna grab a little bit of this throw it in my skillet and that will give me all the juices i need for this meal right, guys so here's what it looks like in the pan and then you'll just kind of go around and make sure you don't have any areas where there's any open pockets all right guys so look, we're gonna go ahead and flip it it is just like you would do a cheese taco guys look at that doesn't it kind of remind you of hash browns oh how i wish you were hash browns but you're not but this does make a really nice crispy tostada shell guys and holds up well so I'm gonna make about three or four of these, however much my mix make, and we'll see you when we're plating. Uh, I put in about four tablespoons of the broth and, and about two tablespoons of this yumminess. All right, so we have finished the tostadas. This next part, totally optional. I've taken about two tablespoons of bacon drippings. I know, it's a lot, but you wanna have a plenty of fat content in your meal, so that's what I've done. But, and I am gonna add some of this angel hair coleslaw. We're gonna put in a few handfuls of this. I personally would like this just raw on my, my tostada, just the plain cabbage. I'm not sure that David would enjoy that, so this is why we're gonna go ahead and cook it up. All right, guys, I've added a little bit of cilantro to this to cook it up. Now. I know. Alma, you're using a fork, a metal fork. I know, guys. All right, so here, guys, we're going to let this cook down just a little bit, maybe flavor it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're going to be good to go. So it's almost done, about two more minutes, and we'll be finished. All right, guys, so now it's time to build your tostada, and here is where all the options come in, guys. All right, guys, so you saw that I actually sauteed my lovely cabbage, my shredded cabbage, uh, with some cilantro and bacon drippings. Now, you could use that raw if you like. You could also plan on just using some lettuce, chopping it up yourself, or if you have a salad kit, go ahead and use the salad kit. This is a great mixture. It has your cilantro, your lettuce, your cabbage. The only bad thing, guys, is it does have carrots in it, so you could pick those out if you like, or if you're not that OCD about it, then go ahead and use the carrots, either way. All right, so then, guys, you're gonna start building it. You'll layer your tostada shell. Let's say you don't have any pork rinds and you don't have any cheese to make these. Fine, how about lettuce? Do you have any lettuce hearts in your house? Use a lettuce boat. Great way to have a taco as well, like a lettuce street taco. All right, so that's an option. The tostadas are option. If you don't have any of the pork rinds and you just have cheese, just make yourself a cheese shell and make a taco. All right, next step would be putting in your lettuce. So we're gonna go ahead and spread out our lettuce, aka cabbage. The next step, guys, is some meat. I may, I'm not making this very thick. We're just going to do something quick and easy right now so you can see what it'd be like. Then from here, guys, if you have Mexican cream, you can put some Mexican cream on it. The next option, obviously, would be some sour cream. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of cream. And then I have some pico. Now, if you don't have any pico de gallo, guys, use some cilantro if you like. Chop up your own onions and you're good to go. Keep in mind that the onions and the tomatoes, very carby. So you don't wanna use a lot. We're gonna use about a tablespoon. All right, next step is your queso. Whatever cheese you have, I asked David to go off and get us a little bit of the queso fresco. I usually use around this and shave it myself, but my sweet husband got me this, so that's what we're using. And then lastly, guys, if you have some of this guacamole uh, salsa, this will bring up the carbs. This is one net carb per two tablespoons. If you have any of your little discs of um, avocado, you could use that, and or if you have fresh, you could use that. Either way, it works, guys. So I'm gonna load up this first one, and then we'll let David give us a taste test. All right, guys, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> and David's gonna check it out. Hi, handsome. Hi, pretty girl. You hungry? I'm very hungry. Take a bite. Let me know what you think of it. I can pick it up. Ooh, the chalupa shell. Is that the queso fresco I bought? It is. Did you hear that crunch, guys? <laughs> that queso fresco is good stuff, oh, man. No, yeah, everything's good. You just didn't even chew it. You took a bite, you crunched, and that was it. Well, I haven't gotten to the big part yet. I'm having to, I'm having to eat the wonderful crust away first. Yeah. <laughs> is it good? I did something different. Mm. Hmm. Instead of using lettuce, I sauteed up some angel hair cabbage. Oh. Sweetheart, that is just good. Isn't that good? Yeah, I don't care what you cooked it in or what it or what's on it. It's just good. Good. I'm glad you like it, babe. I do. Did you make a couple? Not yet, but I will. Just want to make sure you liked it. I like it a lot. All right. All right, guys. Um, oh, just two thumbs up, five stars. What you go? What you got there? The two enthusiastic thumbs way up. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Y'all saw the way that David ate it. Here is how I'm eating it in a bowl. You see where it's just layered. And I'm just topping it with a little bit of pork rinds on the side. So this is my salad version of it. All right. Hope you enjoy, guys. Give it a try either way. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.